So, 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 I got kind of a funny story to tell you. I'm back in San Diego. I'm uh, working the sushi circuit, which I haven't done for a couple of years. Um, and uh, the story, let me, let me give you a brief history first. Okay, um, some sushi chefs, like the ones that are straight from Japan, you know, not Japanese born Americans or Japanese that have lived out here for, you know, for most of their lives or were raised in America, but like straight out the fucking tuna boat from Japan. Uh, those guys, a lot, a good portion of them are, are pretty racist. They don't think white people or Mexican people should have anything to do with sushi. Like nothing. Although usually it's a white person that's their boss, but whatever. They don't think that you have any, uh, any reason behind the sushi bar, regardless of how good you think you are. Now, the reasoning for this is because those old school sushi chefs, like the one I'm about to tell you about, who's probably, fuck, I don't know, probably close to 50 great chef, master chef, and he should be, he's been doing it for fucking 30 years, okay, whereas the rest of us have been doing it for like four years, like myself, well, okay, so, nobody likes to work this guy, his name is Tom, well, he goes by Tom, his real name is like, unpronounceable, like, like, white people can't pronounce it, so, or, or Mexicans, so, his name is now Tom, somebody named him Tom, and that's what stuck, and that's what everybody calls his asshole, he's just a dick to work with, like, nothing's ever good enough. You know, and granted, he's going to be the best chef, basically, wherever he goes. But he's offended. He, he kind of feels, as do a lot of these other old-school Japanese chefs, that that Americans have decimated their culture. And it's a disgrace what we've done to their traditional cuisine. And in a sense, I get it. I get it. And I don't necessarily agree with him. What I disagree with is it's like, look, motherfucker. No one brought you to America and made you make sushi. You came to America, and the way we do things here... We sell sushi to make money, okay? That's what it's about, money. We are a capitalist society, you know? Um, and, but most sushi chefs will know how to make traditional sushi. Uh, I was trained to make traditional Japanese sushi and American-style sushi. And the difference is, uh, well, you know what? I'm not even going to go to that. Let's just say, like, there is no such thing as a California roll or a Vegas roll. And I don't, maybe not even a rainbow roll, you know, which is fairly common, um, but so there's a lot of stuff that just want to fly in Japan. Um, anyway, so I'm going to this interview at this nice resort uh, in San Diego on the beach. And I do the interview. And they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to call you back for a second interview. You know, bring your knife so we can see which, what you're capable of doing. Because then we're going to know if you're good enough to work here. And depending on how good you are, what we're going to offer you is pay. That's not uncommon. And I said, okay. He's like, well, let me show you around to the sushi bar. I want you to meet. Head chef, uh, Yakizama, Gomo, Boo Boo, whatever the fuck, nobody can pronounce his name. So I said, all right, cool. There you go, to the sushi bar. And he's like, uh, you know, Yakizama, Boo Boo, Bobo, who's like, uh, I want to introduce you to a guy that we're considering, uh, you know, to work here. His name's Zach. And it was Tommy, and he's the head chef. I was like, he picks his head up and goes, Zach, what you do here? I was like, uh, you know, I just come to visit my favorite chef, Tommy. He's like, no, you lie. You try to get a job, huh? You try to get a job? I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, no. No, you know be sushi. No, maybe kitchen, but no sushi. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's funny, Tom. You know, I, I had to say face because my big boss, his boss, too, was with me, which is a white guy. And Tom's like, oh, yeah, you chitty. You chitty. I was like, you chitty? I'm like, usually? What's that mean? And even boss and everything, he's like, no, 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 you chitty. You chitty. It's like, okay, I'm chitty. What is you chitty? Usually? No, you chitty chef. You chitty chef. It's like, I'm a, I'm a, oh, I'm a shitty chef. It's like, yeah, you chitty, you chitty, you chitty. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny, Tom. I'll talk to you later. And then we walk out, and the boss is like showing me around the restaurant. He's like, what's up with, what's up with, with that? I was like, well, you know, I used to work with them. His name's Tom. That, well, that's what we called him. I was like, do you have a problem working with him? I was like, absolutely not, which actually I do. I mean, I, but, you know, I had to say face. I had to lie because I want the job. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, we just joke around a lot. You know, there's a cultural difference, you know, and he's kind of got an arrogance about him. But no, nah, I worked with him, and I did for over a year. I was like, nah, he's cool. He's cool. I mean, which I'm totally lying to my teeth. I want to say, like, he's a Japanese racist piece of shit. Who thinks he's better than everybody else, and he's fucking, yeah. But no, of course I couldn't say that. <laughs> well, 
He's like, oh, okay, so long as you're okay. And I said, well, what happened if he's not okay with it? He's like, don't worry about him. I'm his boss. I do the hiring. So long as you can perform and you guys get along, it's cool. I said, oh, no, we get along fine, which is, again, a total lie. I just wanted, I didn't want him to think that there'd be an issue between Tom and I. Um, yeah, so that pretty much it. I, I, I didn't even bother to go back to the interview. Like I had my second interview where I was supposed to perform. I didn't even bother to go back because I, I can't work for somebody like that. I mean, I could work with him like shoulder to shoulder um, when we're on the same level because then – when he became a dick and be, be calling people, you know, you chitty chefs, I'd say, Tom, fuck off, you know, and there ain't nothing he could do, you know, but now if he's my head box and I'm going to take that type of abuse, oh, uh, I, I get fired because I would, if I told him to fuck off and he's my immediate boss, good, good chances you need to find another job, but that's it. You chitty chef.